This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. Let us look at an interesting tool called Archive GPT, which can be used for generating summary of your research papers on archive. Okay. So the prompt which they use over here is this. Please summarize the paper by authors in one concise sentence. The list, uh, key insights, lessons learned from the paper. Generate three to five questions that you would like to ask. Okay. Finally, provide three, five suggestions if applicable. List five relevant references. So how does this work? So first you need to install this plugin in Chrome. Okay, from the Chrome Web Store. So once you have installed the plugin, it basically shows an interface like this, right? Where you can change the prompt if you want. So I've kept the prompt as default and my trigger mode is always. Let's see what it is. Okay, what happens when it is always, right? And then uh, I use the uh, this thing chat web, uh, uh, this thing, which is your provider, right? Web app free, but sometimes unstable. Okay. You can also have the open AI, uh, AI API as well. Okay. Where you need to provide uh, this thing. Okay. So currently we are looking at chat GPT. So I've also logged into chat GPT over here, right? Now let's go to archive.org and let me search for a paper. So one of the papers which came recently was blip two from Salesforce research. So let's check it out. So I'm searching for this paper, right? It says bootstrapping language image pre-training with frozen. So this is the paper which I want. So I click on the paper. So if you see over here, this button has come up, which says waiting for chat GPT response. And based on this particular prompt over here, right? It starts summarizing. It generates three, five questions to the authors. It also provides three, five suggestions for related topics or future research and five relevant references for field of study from the paper. So that is what is this generation which is happening now. So let's wait for it to be completed. So this has been generated by chat GPT, right? So some of the results which are present over here may be hallucinations. We don't know. So we need to always check out the paper again, right? Whether, uh, you know, whether whatever has been written over here is factually true. Right. But this is an interesting summary which has been generated from this particular paper. This kind of gives you a quick summary of this particular paper. Right. It's still generating the future research uh, directions. Okay. Uh, let me look at some questions that could be asked to the authors about their work. What motivated you to develop the blip to pre training strategy? Okay. How do you compare effectiveness of proposed querying transformer with other architectures? Okay. What are the limitations of proposed method? How do the proposed method compare to human performance on the vision language task in real world applications? Do you envision the proposed method being most useful? Okay. And there are some references. You can also do an experiment by trying it again to see whether it generates the same kind of, you know, key insights. Okay. So for example, is pre-training is efficient uh, state of art performance on various vision language tasks. Uh, the proposed method outperforms Flamingo 80 billion by. Okay, so let me try it out again to see if it is kind of reproducible. Some of these references may be present, may not be present. It could be hallucinated content. Okay, because everything is just based on this particular uh, prompt, right? It's based on this prompt. Okay, but what I can do is that I can Close it. I can again type PRXIV. Okay. Let me just repeat the experiment to see how it comes. Tip two. Okay. I'm going to open the paper. Okay. So it starts generating. Let's wait for it to complete. Slightly different from last time, I believe. Okay. So then Flamingo, yeah, reworded, right? Compared to the previous uh, output. So yes, being generative, these summaries can change. It is not really reproducible unless you seed it or something. Um, so currently it is not able to reproduce it, but this is the prompt for this, okay? Maybe you can put your own prompt over here and then, uh, you know, it can trigger a different kind of summary. Okay. 
maybe i'll try the manually part of it okay so if you want to do manually and maybe let's try changing the prompt over here uh, please summarize the paper in one and concise sentence then list key ingredients okay maybe i'll remove this part okay uh, let's generate it's novel novel approaches of this paper let's see what comes out and let's say save prompt and then let me go again search for the same paper we click over here now it says ask to summarize okay now i have to click on it so previous case it was kind of automatic okay i've changed the prompt a little bit over here let's see what happens key insights and lessons learned from the paper include okay kind of similar to the previous one but yeah slightly different summary let's see what comes up after this okay now all approaches of this paper include nice yeah use of pre-trained image and frozen yeah that is true modality gap yes this is also true suggestions of uh, okay fine so it generates this summary so you can also try out this particular uh, browser extension it seems to be useful but then you need to uh, you know whether the content is really uh, factual it needs to be checked okay i hope this short video on archive gpt is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video